Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of EVA Struts, which is being made by forum user DMagic. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is something so simple, yet so, so wonderful, and that is a strut which you can attach to your ship while on EVA. It's pretty simple. But it's glorious, especially when you consider one of the very common things that one would do in this game, and that's orbital construction. Typically, you send part after part into orbit, and then you dock them together to build either a space station or, say, a ship to go explore another planet. But the problem with that is is that those docking ports are only so strong, and the bigger and more complex your ships get, the more likely they are to just rip themselves apart because there's not enough strength holding it all together. And so having a strut which you can attach while in EVA makes a world of difference to orbital construction, and I love it. So let's jump into the uh, space plane hangar here to take a look at the one, one simple part that makes it all work. Now let's just grab a random command pod the mark one lander can will do just fine and then head down to utility. Now of course typically we have the structural strut which still works as normal. You attach this thing from one part to another in your ship and you're good to go. Now the utility EVA strut which we have right here is purely a starting point for a strut. What you would do is on every part that you send into orbit, place a couple of these on the exterior somewhere. And then when on EVA, you have your Kerbal, right click on this part and then attach it to another. And it works very, very well. And you can see here, the strength of this particular strut is 150 with a sheer strength of 150, which matches up quite nicely to the typical struts. So you know that this will hold and it will hold very, very well. And it's just, again, such a simple concept that I'm surprised I haven't seen before, and it's so, so wonderful. And yeah, that's really the only part. Whenever you uh, build your ships, just remember to attach a whole load of these EVA struts to it, and then what you can do is if we actually go to the space plane hangar, I have a small little demonstration craft ready to go. Oh, wrong way, let's turn that way. There we are, we'll load up strut test two, and show how this actually works in practice and why it is so very useful. So you can see here we have two crappy little rovers. And if we just get Bill out on EVA here, oh, there we go. He has fallen. Lovely. And run him around. Oh, God, I'm moving the rover. Let's see. There we go. Just run him around to the front. And we can go to one of these EVA struts that we have on the ship. And we can grab it right click and then hit the pick up EVA strut and you'll notice it goes onto his back and that is uh, just showing that it is connected to him and that he is functioning functionally working with it but if you want to attach it to something you just mouse over what you want to attach to so you can see we can attach that strut to add a little bit more structural integrity to say this girder right here or this one or attach it to itself the wheel etc but we cannot attach it to this other ship over here. You can only attach the EVA strut to your current ship, which makes sense. You're not going to want to connect two ships via struts that are completely unattached to one another. That would be weird. But if we so desire, we can add a strut right there. Bam, there we go. That is now a 150 strength strut, making that little bit of our ship ever so stronger, which is very, very useful. But if we actually go to our other ship here and actually dock with this one to make these two ships one whole being, oh God, hold on, hold on. I gotta go with, oh boy. There we go, control from there. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it would remember it from while I was in here earlier testing this whole thing, but apparently it didn't. And then just leisurely go in and attach. There we are. We are now one complete total ship. So if we go back to Bill, we can say go over to one of these other EVA struts that I had here, pick it up, and bam attach it to that other ship there. And now what if, say, you attached a strut to where you're not wanting it, such as the strut we've already attached? You can right-click it again and hit Q 
cut EVA strut in that will break that connection and then you can just pick it up again and bam, connect it to the ship in question and you're good to go, which just makes so much sense and it's just such a wonderful thing. You could use this to make all of your different space stations and gigantic deep space ships ever so much more strong. That is a really weird way to say that. I don't know why I did, but yes, you'll make your ships much, much stronger by just attaching some lovely EVA struts. And it's beautiful. Now, there's of course a problem with it. There's always a problem with every mod. Uh, and this one's kind of a big one. If say you've attached these struts together as we have, and you then want to undock said ship, well, it's not going to work out too well for you. What you have to do is either reload the game because the game currently thinks of these struts as sort of a, hmm, I don't know exactly how to put it, I guess a temporary element. But once you reload into your same save file, it actually counts these as proper struts. And then when you undock, they'll separate how they should, like a normal strut does in that situation. But right now, if we try to undock, if we actually go to this ship and oh nope we were on the right one there we go you can see our ships are actually still attached and that's just not going to work in the slightest so if we reloaded before undocking it would work fine these struts would detach from one another and you'd be perfectly okay to go but alternatively what you can do is just cut them so we can just go along and to each part, cut those individual struts, and there we go. You can see the ship backing off there from being undocked, and everyone is happy. So if you don't feel like taking the time to individually cut each and every strut individually, you have to reload the game, or at least the save game. You don't have to actually fully back out of Kerbal Space Program. You just need to back out of the current save file, and you'll be perfectly good to go. But nonetheless, that's a pretty minor thing, honestly, compared to the amazingness that is what this mod does. It just adds so many new possibilities in for orbital construction and is going to allow you to make far larger ships than you typically would have been able to do because of just the sheer limitation of the typical docking ports in the game. And yeah, all you gotta do is you know, right click a strut, pick it up and bam, we can attach things to every which way and we're good to go, and who doesn't want that? So if you want to check out this mod for yourself, which I would definitely say you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for whatever mod we have a look at next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.